game burn. What's up? Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to it. This is Game Brain. I thought that Game Brain was a great way to learn because um, not only was it informative, but it was really interactive too. Gambling to escape problem. That's it right there. The show was great. It was exciting. It was pumped up, and you just got to learn a lot. Things you may lose. It was interesting. You're able to actually focus on it instead of getting bored. You know, you have a lot of times where there's an assembly and half the students are down there and it's, it's just listening to some guy talk and they tune out and they're just sitting there waiting for the period to end. They were getting involved, there was a high energy level, I think it was great. A lot of them probably didn't realize they were learning and I think the teachers enjoyed it as much as the students did. I need four people from Team Red to come on up. Four game people. Brain is like a game and show. We play five here. different games. Yeah. You're the leader of the game. I'm the game show <laughs> guru, <laughs> guru. And you are the sidekick. <laughs> All the games are designed to be fun, but along with that do have a purpose. Signs of a gambling problem, behaviors that can be linked to gambling that people should look for. Flying to cover up is correct. Very good, yes. I'm not sure that students even realize the dangers of gambling. I think we talk a lot about mental health and talk, talk a lot about drugs and alcohol. This is one of those ones that I think even they don't recognize what some of the warning signs are. So I think it is important to start talking about it with students. It's important to learn about gambling now because it's so electronic now and it's, it's easier to entice us without anyone else knowing and you just kind of get into it and you stumble upon it. Everyone my age is really interested in the thought of poker and casinos and everything um, and it's good to shed some light on how that can sometimes not be okay and not be the answer to financial problems. You've got the, the fantasy thing, the fantasy gambling is very big these days and a lot of the times they, they think it's a game, it's not really something that can be a problem. Being aware of it, having some, some sense of self-awareness, that's, that's the key because if you don't know it's a problem, you can't do anything about it. Team Red Selfie, very good. So we have traveled all across Ontario doing this show. I would absolutely recommend Game Brain to other high schools. I think that it's formative, I think it's entertaining, I think it's uh, the kind of message and the kind of uh, presentation that students can engage with, and I think they learned a lot from it. I always thought, you know, gambling seems fun and everything um, until you get a show like this, and it really, uh, it really does um, bring it all into perspective and bring it to uh, the real world where not everyone's as lucky as, as James Bond is.